Hello, I'm James Archer, Liberal Democrat Parliamentary Candidate for Airwash. I'd like to talk to you in this video about the climate emergency. I've long been involved in campaigning on green issues. Indeed, I met my partner at a punk gig the day after I'd taken part in the Climate Change March in London. That was 10 years ago this December, long before Extinction Rebellion were even formed. But they have given me cause to pause for thought recently. So I passed an Extinction Rebellion banner by the side of the road the other day that read, what are you doing? So I've put this video together to tell you what I am doing and what the Liberal Democrats hope to do in government. The Liberal Democrats have a plan to get the country to net zero emissions by 2045. That may seem like a long time, but there are some difficult to eliminate sources of emissions to combat in that time, particularly aviation and some heavy industries. A plan includes support for offshore wind, the industry the Liberal Democrats transformed Britain into world leaders in when we were in coalition. It also includes support for onshore wind, solar and tidal projects because decarbonising electricity is one of the easy bits, and we will decarbonise it quickly. That is why we won't be supporting new nuclear, as it simply takes too long to build and is very expensive. So going back to the question of what have I done, I installed solar panels on my garage roof last year. Zed Davy has said he wants people to think of their homes as their own power stations. With solar panels on the roof and battery storage that feeds into the grid when prices are high, and charges up when prices are low to give you the best value on electricity. I've installed the solar panels and I'm looking at battery installation hopefully before the end of the year. The energy I don't generate myself is of course bought from a 100% green supplier who own and build their own wind farms. The Liberal Democrats will also ban fracking as we can't afford to extract any more natural gas. But how do we get people off natural gas, particularly for those whose houses are unsuited to electric heating? Liberal Democrats will support the conversion of mains gas to hydrogen gas. The hydrogen gas produced by the surface el surplus electricity that when burns only produces water vapour. But for those who can, the Liberal Democrats will support the adoption of electric heating. In fact, we'll ensure all new homes are built without gas-fired heating. And the Liberal Democrats will do all of these things in a just and fair way. What am I doing? Well, last year when my gas boiler broke, I refused to have a like-for-like -like replacement. Instead, I opted for an air source heat pump, a highly efficient form of electric heating. The Liberal Democrats will make sure all housing meets an energy efficiency rating of C or above, cutting fuel bills and ending fuel poverty. What am I doing? Well, I've installed loft installation to the recommended depth and all the lighting in my house is now the most efficient LED kind. The Liberal Democrats will encourage the uptake of electric cars and ban new diesel and petrol and hybrid cars by 2030. Going back to that question again, what am I doing? Well, I already drive an electric car. The Liberal Democrats will fund rail electrification and support for the hydrogen economy, as heavy goods vehicles are impractical to run off batteries. And as a country, there is no escaping it. We will have to farm and eat less meat. And the Liberal Democrats will help farmers adopt new farming methods to reduce their emissions of methane so that the meat we do produce emits less greenhouse gas. This is an easy one to answer the question of, as I have been vegan for more than a decade. And until there is a technical solution, we need to take fewer flights. What am I doing? Well, I've cut down. We interrailed for a holiday two years ago, but this year I have to admit one return flight to Europe, though one return flight in two years is not bad going. But we need to offset those emissions, and one of the best ways to do that after restoring wetlands and peat bogs is to plant trees. The Liberal Democrats will instigate the biggest ever programme of tree planting the country has seen. The Liberal Democrats have ambitions to plant 60 million trees a year in government. These will offset the hard to eliminate emissions to buy us time whilst we invest in the technological solutions. This is our last chance to make a meaningful difference. The faster we take actions, the less greenhouse gases we'll emit before we get to net zero and the less warming will cause. Because it's really not about the end date. It is the area under the curve that matters. Even setting a 2045 end date won't be enough if we get there all at the last minute, as we'll have emitted so much more greenhouse gas than acting as quick as we can now. But there is hope, because we have the technologies we need to do this, and do this now. Maggie Throop scored 0% on her environmental voting record, but I promise I will meet 100% on my voting record and go well beyond with my actions to deliver the targets laid down in the Liberal Democrats plan so that we can 
not just meet, but beat those targets. I want to be your Net Zero MP that helps deliver Net Zero UK as soon as practicable so that we can ensure our children's generation are definitely not the last generation.